I'm Jamon Jordan, official historian for the city of Detroit. And this is Black History Month. I want to welcome you to some wonderful programming called Undefeated, a look at black history in the city of Detroit through the lens of dance, music, architecture, spoken word, and other genres available on Channel 22 and at DetroitArtsAndCulture.com. Please enjoy. In 1959, Barry Gordy starts what is known as Tamla Records, which will of course become Motown Records. His studio, which you also live above, known as Hitsville, USA, will pump out some of the greatest artists in America's history. People like Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, The Four Tops, The Supremes, The Temptations, The Commodores and Lionel Richie, Martha and the Vandellas, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, and of course, Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five. These artists who are household names by the 1960s and 70s come out of this Detroit history. Barry Gordy and his family have been business people for decades. His father and mother, Barry Gordy Sr. and Bertha Gordy have run a number of businesses, including the Booker T. Washington grocery store. All of their children are business owners, including Anna and Gwen, who were running a photo concession inside of the Flame Show Bar, one of the most popular clubs in the 1950s. And they would start a record company known as Anna Records, even before Barry starts his company. And so this attraction to music and pop culture has already been in the family. And Barry will turn this into the largest black business in the country in the 1960s and 70s, Motown Records. From 1959 to 1972, they're stationed right here in the city of Detroit, and they will own a number of buildings right here on West Grand Boulevard. And of course, the Motown Museum, which is undergoing an expansion, will be founded by Barry's elder sister, Esther Gordy Edwards. And she will start this after Barry has relocated to Los Angeles, turning this into a museum, a destination spot for people all over the world. 